What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us on another episode of the Not Applicable Podcast presents Wrestling Rumor Roundup. Is that what we went? Yeah, other than WWE, because I mean we're going to talk about all wrestling stuff, but it's mainly going to be around WWE since that's our our main source. Yeah, uh, we we debuted um, this show, this program, not the podcast, but this. We'll say last week because it comes episode. out. It'll be last week. Yeah, we debuted it last week. Um, Wait, can, can we give a quick disclaimer? I'm already failing. Disclaimer what? Um, normally, we would record this on Saturday, so we'd have a lot more uh, information and a lot more stuff going in this, but uh, due to Chubbs being busy this weekend for a Spartan race, we're recording everything on Wednesday. Still going to come out on Sunday. I don't know why I'm saying that because that's when you're listening to it right now if you are. But either way, we're recording on Wednesday, so there's probably going to be some stuff that we may miss and... Obviously, we can incorporate it into next week's. Yeah. Just a few people that do listen or any new people listen go, they totally missed this and this on Thursday. It's because we're... Right. And also, I mean, a lot of this stuff could even be cleared up by the time it's aired. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's kind of why we wanted to record it on Saturdays, which we yeah. normally will when on regularness. But yeah. stuff happens. Life, yo. Sorry, my bad. I interrupted your, your spiel. No, it's cool. I don't even remember... Social medias on your screen. Check it out. We'll be there. Yep. All of Facebook, them. Twitter, Instagram, and eight podcast nine one nine. Boom. One take and I are there as well. Boom. Like, share, and subscribe to this video boom, on boom. YouTube. So, on the door. We, oh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> we debuted this this uh, this episode of the podcast, the series last week. Yeah. Ah, cool. Um, the, it's something that we've we've been talking about doing, and we're gonna do our best to continue to do it because it's. It's fun to talk about. Yeah, we do on a, on the our behind own the anyways, scenes. So yeah, might as well put it into something that right. It could turn into something. The few times where it, you want to see how the sausage is made, so it, it's kind of cool to peel the curtain back. And how many more cliche references can I use? I don't know how so, many curtains. Moving on, one story that I thought was interesting, and it's kind of an older one, considering he's been out of WWE for a little while now. Oh, okay. Uh, formerly known as Bubba Ray Dudley, now known as Bully Ray. Which he was before. Yeah, as he well. was Bully Ray in TNA, and now he's Bully Ray in Ring of Honor. Yep. We found out that, this is according to an ESPN interview, that he was about a day away from being Bully Ray in WWE. So they were going to actually change him to Bully Ray? Yes, they were. They had the gun loaded and they were about to pull the trigger, and then they said, well, you know what, wait a minute. We have this deal, we have the, the be a star, the, the anti-bullying sentiment that we, we like to produce. Oh, it's a violent so show. It's a show about having, punching people. Having a character that basically is a bully, which is what they did with the big guy Ryback for a little bit. It didn't last long. And having a character aptly named Bully Ray. We can't have a name of a character on the show They decided it would be counterintuitive and fighting. they just... They scrapped it. So, Bully Ray... With, I, get their, I get their point in them being proactive for it, but come on. No, I agree with you. Parents um, be parents. Don't make other people do it. Bully Ray, with a lucrative deal on the table to go back to now Impact Wrestling, turned it down because he said that it, he just couldn't be the Bully Ray that he was. Like, it just wouldn't make sense. Right. So he decided to take a pay cut and go to Ring of Honor, where he is now part of the three-man tag team champions with the Briscoe Brothers. Incorrect. They lost. No. It's the six-man tag. Why is it the six-man tag? There's only no three idea. of them. There's three belts against... I think it's because it's three on three, but they call it, it's literally called the, the six-man championship. That's dumb, because... It's not the four-man tag team champions. I'm, I'm actually so glad that you brought th- brought this up because that's what I was going to say. That's where I, I put my head back because I was like, all right, got to remember this. I'm glad you brought it. That's really weird. Yeah. And it, and they have – I don't know if they've been doing it throughout and I just haven't paid attention, but I've noticed the last like month or so they've been calling the, the world championship. Yeah, the Ring of Honor – It's the world championship, Ring of Honor championship of the world. I, and they say it the exact same way, so it's not like a right. oopsie. Like, they're intentionally making it the world championship of the world. Unless it once was an oopsie, and they're like, we're going to run with it. Let's keep going. Uh, but yeah, I saw that I saw that this week, or uh, last Saturday on, on Ring of Honor, 
It okay. was a six. Like, I always thought it was a three because it's three on three. And it yeah. literally says on the belt, it has a six on it. All right, so they're the sixth man tag team champions. My bad. Uh, no, that's, I'm glad you brought that up and, and brought that to my attention. So, Bully Ray with the, the Briscoe brothers. So the Briscoe it, brothers. And also, there was, when, when Bubba left WWE, he wanted to take, or, or Ring of Honor wanted to take Devon as well and bring the Dudleys to Ring of Honor. Right. But Devon said, you know what, I, I need to stop traveling so much. i got to spend some time with the family. I'm just going to take an executive role in WWE. WWE yeah. Bubba was offered a similar role in which he says he has a lot left in the tank. Uh, but when he's done, he hopes that offer is still there. So it, it probably will be. That would be cool. So that's that. Um <laughs> According to TMZ Sports, Titus O'Neil is being sued for $1.2 million. Two years after the Because fact. two years ago, on an episode of the WWE Network original series Swerved, which is just like punked or... Punked. Candid camera or... Punked. Punked. Uh, it's a prank show, in case you don't know. Cameraman Donald Anderson. My thing is, is... Sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs> It's okay. What's your thing? No, my thing is, is, is like with this that show. Yeah. A, I said this to you the other day. Is you would think that everyone involved, no matter what their job is, it sh- would have to sign a waiver in case an accident happens and they get hurt. B, some of the stuff that happens, you got to know that you're dealing with a person that you don't know how they're going to react. Especially in the prank that took place. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, the, go with it. the prank being the shock chair. Where, oh, it was a shock chair? I thought it was a prod. Yeah, okay. no, shock chair where they were lured into sitting down and conducting an interview, and then uh, the other superstar that was swerving them was in the back production room, pressing the button, causing the chair to shock whoever's well, sitting in it. Electrically. <laughs> yes. Not, like, with news. <laughs> it didn't just shock them with... What? I don't believe that. ...tantalizing information. So Titus was shocked and allegedly kicked the camera out of Donald Anderson's hand, causing major damage to his hand, fingers, and wrist. And he was also, he claims, that he was asked to leave, quote, in fear of the possibility of further attacks by Titus. Right. End quote. Titus isn't that kind of person. No, and even even in the, like, my thought was, obviously, I... I didn't, I haven't seen it or whatnot, but my thought is, is he got shocked. Like, I don't know if you've ever been electrocuted, but if you get shocked, you're not in your full faculties right off. Oh. Especially if it's a good, solid shock. Anytime I've been shocked, even just a little bit, I jump a little bit. Yeah. So you're going to have, like, a knee-jerk reaction. Right. Well, I guess no pun intended. And, and how... I mean, Titus is, what, 6'7", six, 6'6"? Six, six? Between 6'6 six, six and 6'8", six, yeah, I'd say. How close are you getting to him to where you're getting this camera? Ki- like, he didn't just get up and go, the hell with you guys, and punt it out of his hands. Right. Right? Or is that what's I being mean, claimed? I don't know. Either way, you would think that that camera guy would have had to assign a waiver. Yeah. So they wouldn't be responsible for if he got injured unless it was literally he was followed out. Like, he supposedly said they told him to leave. Whatever. My other thing is, is $1.2 2 million is a lot of money. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming for lost wages and future earnings for... Obviously, I don't know how bad... I mean, I have a bad wrist that prohibits me from doing a lot of stuff and causes a lot of pain. Right. So, I get it, but the thought... My thought is, is so that's his only skill set, is that he could hold the camera? Like, he doesn't have the ability to do, like, production or editing. I'm not, right. Like, I'm not saying that he... If he feels he deserves something, money for missed work, that he shouldn't be compensated. But in the same, he's looking for as an end payday as far right. as right. I mean, concerned. yeah, he wants to retire off this. But I mean, you have workman's comp for those reasons exactly, and it's not like you're not just going to hold a giant camera that's on a stand. You don't really need to use your hand all that much. Yeah, I f- I feel like that's a job that there's ways around, like. Opposed to being a traveling cameraman for that stuff where you have to move around. They have jobs where you don't have to use both hands. Even still, just strap a GoPro to your chest. (laughs) Look at baseball. (laughs) Yeah. The camera guys they have. You sit in the thing and you got the... Yeah. One hand. I I don't get it. I hope that Titus wins this settlement. 
um, or wins this lawsuit because I, I I think it's just bogus that he that somebody from two years ago yeah, that, is that, now that, trying like, to get one. It makes me wonder how long million. it's been in the process, or if it literally just he's like, all right, we're suing him now. Like I find it weird that we haven't heard anything about it until now, or yeah. I haven't. I feel like Vince could just be like, listen, here's half a million dollars, go Shut away. It. <laughs> so sick of it. Other story I have, Batista was on an episode okay. of Chris Jericho's podcast, Talk is Jericho. Which I haven't, I haven't heard in a while. I used to on YouTube, it used to pop up for me, and now it doesn't, so. And they talked about... Um, a lot. The, the cool thing about Batista is that he's very... Is candid the right word? Yeah. He's very candid but about But he's not malicious about opinions. it. He's just no. matter of fact. Like, this is what happened. I'm yeah. not mad about it. It just it is what it is. Right. He, yeah. he understands that it's a business. He understands people are people, the world's the world, stuff happens, he gets right. it. He's a very smart smart dude. Um, which is funny, because his character in, in Guardians of the Galaxy is extremely Hilarious. intelligent. Uh, so, <laughs> Batista said, he was asked if he would ever, if he would ever return, or he asked if, if there was a return for him in the cards. Right. He, he said, that he had talked to Vince, and he has talked to Triple H, he said he would only return... If he could do a program with Triple H, and it would be his, his it would be his retirement coup de gras, if yeah. you will. Which is probably why Triple H has has said no. Vince and Triple H have said no because on your retirement tour, you're supposed to lose at the end of it. Right. They don't see a purpose in Triple, Triple H, H winning, winning at the end. Yeah. So I get it. However, well, it makes me wonder if they could do that and then have. I don't know if Batista would be willing to this, but have, have, I'm trying to think of somebody off top, I can't, but have somebody be proxy, where it can still be a package with Triple H, where it's the main between them, but then have right. have it so Batista can help bring a, a new yeah. guy, younger guy. And, and this is where, this is, so this is, this would be my fantasy booking for this. Sorry, keep going. This would be my fantasy booking for this. this Because I think it would be perfect time for We're Batista dumb. to come back. We're so dumb. Why? We totally could have just had this be our fantasy booking. All right. Well, this but is it. I haven't put any thought on it, into it. So, <laughs> all right. So, buckle up. Oh. So, here's Batista. This would be perfect. Let me just vomit words. Because I got it all running in my head. Humana, 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 yeah. humana. I just opened my mouth and word vomit just came out. Blah, blah, blah. So, perfect time now because Triple H had the whole thing with uh, Rollins and there's the Samoa Joe aspect of it. Previously, there were the rumors of Triple H starting up another faction, like an evolution type faction, who, who had Batista. So, here's my thought pull the trigger on that. Start the faction. Bring Batista back as sort of a, like, say he's just there visiting. And he right. runs into one of the members of said faction. He says, listen, I've been in that position. He's going to turn on you when it's, it's right bad for idea, him. bro. It's, yeah. It's bad for the brand. So it could be Samoa Joe. Then you could have a Batista-Samoa Joe kind of feud where they maybe have a match. Leading into, eventually, where he would fight Triple H. Batista would fight Triple H. He can lose, thus Triple H winning by proxy for the faction to continue on whatever course they're set on. Right. Whereas you don't need to have Batista win because then you just end the faction and it would be stupid for Batista to end a faction and then retire. Right. So it would make sense for Triple H to win. Right. I think that would be perfect. I was only giving you that weird look just because as much as, like you said, Samoa Joe, as much as I'm like, that would be a pretty sweet match. Yeah. In my head, I was just trying to think of somebody that obviously is good in the ring and doesn't, and you know can have a good match, but it would help, like, bring them up and kind of put them over. Yeah. Opposed to somebody that already is. I'm not saying you're wrong, because more than, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of the whole evolution, no pun intended, because of what we're talking about, of Batista coming back and... And Triple H having a proxy and having somebody that fully benefits from it. You know what I mean? Opposed to us just wanting to see that be a sweet match. You know well, what I mean? You would have to have you'd have to have Batista effectively beat every member of the faction. Could, is that what you said? Sort of. Okay, my, I'm trying to focus, but I'm also trying to th- like 
in my head I got my rebuttals. Yeah, you have him, <laughs> you have him beat every member working on his way up, be to, better. up to the match yeah. with Triple H. Maybe at WrestleMania next year or SummerSlam in a couple months. Depending on his schedule because he is busy. And right. Like he's... And then he loses to Triple H. <clears throat> and then he retires and Triple H says, look, you tried to end us. You couldn't. You're gone. The faction still stands. Move and on. Another thing to put into consideration is A, and Batista, I believe, did also say in the Jericho podcast, his schedule gets filled up quick because he yeah. does a lot. And he's not getting any younger. Like He's already almost 50, isn't he? I think, yeah. I want to say he is 50. Uh, I was thinking he was like 48, 49. But either way, so he's, he's, he's pushing the 50 mark. Well, he was in his 40s. I keep forgetting how old he is because... He's just in such good shape that you wouldn't think of him as being as old as he is. Yeah, he. W- I mean, he was old. Yeah, that's true. Before. Was he on that DDP program? <laughs> Start when you're 35? He's, um, yeah, he's 48 now. Yeah, that's what I thought I remembered seeing. So. Yeah, so it's something they kind of, I mean, obviously if he's still in really good shape, that helps, and especially since he hasn't been wrestling, that's good for his body. But in the same... He, even as good a shape as he in, he could just randomly wake up one day and go, I'm starting to really feel my age. Yeah. You don't know when that... Perfect example, The Undertaker. I even watched footage from last year when his build-up with, with Shane for WrestleMania. Yeah. So much... It's even, ridiculous how, like, better he looked even that short time yeah. in between. Because even in the Hell in a Cell match against Brock Lesnar, I watched... The, I saw some highlights from that yeah. match. He was... He was... Still... Like, I remember when it happened, and you're going, oh, it's not The Undertaker. But then you see what happened at the Royal Rumble, the last Royal Rumble, and yeah. his Roman match. And then you go back and watch the stuff where you're like, I remembered it being worse because you're like, that's not The Undertaker. Yeah. But you're like, man, he really is. Yeah, the Hell in a Cell match was actually was actually really good yeah. on both their parts. So either way, yeah, I feel, I feel like, A, he's, because he's in Blade Runner, which I don't think that's done taping. Okay. Um, so he's got that, and he's supposed to be in, um, what was that, St- Stallone and Schwarzenegger movie, the the prison cell one? Escape Plan? Yeah, there's a second one coming out, Batista's supposed to be in. Why? The first one was not that good. <laughs> it was alright. It's predictable. Um, yeah. Um, but either way, there's supposed to be a second one, Batista's supposed to be in that. Okay. Um, and obviously, with as good as the Guardians of the Galaxy has done and is going to do, he's probably going to get more offers. So, they they need... Like, he already said, look, let me know and I can schedule it in and work work into it. Yeah. And think about it. It's not like it's going to be a long thing. You literally only need three, three to six months. Yeah. I say three because that's how WWE does it. I say six because that's how I want it. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, because I said, you know, even SummerSlam, they couldn't do enough build-up with the faction... Ahead of time, right? Actually, it doesn't even. It could just it a newly formed faction where Batista just happens to be at the arena yeah, visiting. Yeah, there doesn't even need to be a build up for have the the like you said. He's already got story, especially with Triple H. Have the faction start. He happens to be there. Yeah, and have him bump into them in the back. Like some of them just be like. Yeah. Bro, I've been there. This is a bad idea. And then be like, screw you. You don't know. You're just old and bitter. Right. Where he could even start off talking to Triple H and being like, Hunter, why are you just going to turn on these kids? Yeah, why are you doing this again? Yeah. Yeah. I. They, they could easily do it, A, because Batista is good enough and Triple H, where they, they don't necessarily need a long, long build up for it to make sense. Right. Because they already have history. Exactly. But it could still, it'd still be nice to have, like, at least... A couple months of, so you can have him in the ring, a getting the the rust out, and having the build up of you know if he's going to run through the whole faction, right? Type and, deal. I mean, the faction could even be called the re evolution, revolution. <laughs> so can it just be called the faction? <laughs> um, I don't know. I th- I think that could work, and now is the perfect yeah. time, as I said. Is that all you got for that one? That's all I got for that one. I was going to say, talking about Batista and Titus, since that was a good segue. Oh, yeah. Um, Batista also said in that uh, Jericho's podcast that he actually advised Titus to leave WWE. He actually said also said that in a like a random airport interview with a rando guy yeah. shortly after the Titus thing had happened. Yeah. 
he basically said that that you know the way it was handled was just a disrespectful and done so poorly that Titus should have just been like, hey, I don't deserve it, which yeah. he doesn't. And and for the record, this isn't Titus is uh, being sued. It was when oh yeah, my bad. a while back Titus apparently had grabbed Vince McMahon. Uh, who, who somebody died and they had a, a, a started the show out with how they do their service and yeah, paying was respects. it Umaga? No, no. Either way, somebody had passed away. They did a the moment of silence or whatever. Yeah, everyone was out there. Vince went by. Titus grabbed Vince uh, to sort of hold him back so Stephanie could could go first, right? Because Titus, you know, said ladies first, right? Vince got mad and pushed him. Immediately wanted to fire him. Right, was had to be talked taught bad. out of firing him and decided to suspend him for ninety days. And then he got fined as well. And then it got dropped down to sixty days. Yeah. Yeah, so all in all, a 60-day suspension. And the way that it happened, like Batista said that, that I don't want to put words in his mouth, so I'm going to paraphrase on what he meant. He basically said that Vince didn't handle it properly, which he didn't, and he didn't handle it manlike. Right. He basically, instead of, you know, br- going, bringing Bati- uh, Batista, bringing uh, Titus to the side or into his office and going, hey, that's not something that can happen. I understand your thought process behind it, but I don't appreciate it. Don't let it happen again. Yeah. Talk it out and be like, okay, we're done with it. Opposed opposed to what he did where he just got pissed off, wanted to fire him, and then said, fine, we're going to suspend him and fine him, and then sent somebody else to tell him. Like, he didn't even handle it himself. Yeah. Th- that's Bush League, basically. Right. But Titus stayed, and he's still, I mean, he's he was getting TV time, but it's been feeling like he's been getting punished for a long time. Yeah, the New and Day he wasn't stuff. on there last week. This week. This week. Yeah. Yeah. No, I... The other day. Which is weird. You would have thought they would have pushed some of the Titus brand being in London. Yeah. I, trying to make it a global. Worldwide. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do we know? I mean, they could do a thing where, where Titus one time is on the phone trying to spread his brand. And then he tells Apollo that he's got uh, an inn in Hollywood where it ends up being Batista. Because I'm sure Batista would like, you know, to work with them briefly. Yeah, because him and Titus are friends. Yeah, as a transition, outside, yeah. as to say, remember, you know, when, when yeah. Whatever. Remember? Pepper Farm remembers. That whole thing. So, do you have anything else you want to add for that story? I don't, I don't think so, because we already, uh, so, oh, that's all I got. WWE, at, a lot of people have been wondering, what's next for Luke Harper and Eric Rowan? No, well, Luke Harper especially. I'll tell you what's next for Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Mm-hmm. WWE doesn't know. They have no plans to push either of them. I'm okay with them not pushing Rowan because he's nothing special. But Luke yeah. Harper deserves some sort of push. Oh, yeah. he, and he's he's a underappreciated. Exactly. And as we've said, it was this would be a perfect person to where they would bring in another championship, like a yeah. European title or a TV title. Right. Luke Harper, Sami Zayn, Apollo, Apollo Cruz, uh, any one of them. Any of the mid card guys that really aren't, don't have too too much to do, but you know, like, you're just like, oh, I'd like him to be pushed for you know the U.S. belt, but this guy kind of kind of yeah. needs needs it, or exactly. will do better for it. So yeah, you have a, another mid card belt that would be beneficial for a lot. Agreed, and especially especially when you have like you've split the brands, which makes sense, sort of. Because you want to split up the talent because you don't have as many titles. But the problem is, is that you're in such a, a, I'll call it a Garden of Eden of talent. Like, you you just have a plethora of talent on both shows. You literally have six to eight people going for each belt. Yeah. Opposed to you can make it three to four each belt. Or you have two people going for a belt and then... Well, I said three to four because then you can have branch outs. Right. But then you have a lot more going going for nothing because there's no belt for them to go after. Right, which is okay Stupid. as well as I'm concerned. Well, I say that just based on you. not every match needs to have a, a championship right. involved to be good. It can still be a good feud. But there are just some guys where it's just like this guy's been Luke Harper. He's been p- putting in work, yeah, doing a good job, has gotten better. And him as himself when he's given time, his promos have been good. Yep. His in in ring is always on point. He's a guy that has worked hard, and having that, I mean, 
him as an Intercontinental Champion, he was even mad at how it ended because he didn't have it long enough. Yeah. I feel like Harper's the, the company guy that, that goes in and works and wants to advance to the next position up. And Eric Rowan's that guy that just goes in entry level and he's like, it's a job. I'm here. I'm good. I'm getting paid. Yeah, he's the, he's the guy I was saying that I feel like he's one of the few people that benefits from, like he benefited from being in the Wyatt family and yeah. that, that was basically good for him. Opposed to where Luke, it was good for him and it was it was a good thing, but he can go out on his own yeah. and still be fine and do well. Opposed to Eric where you're like, he needs, he needs to be in a faction. Agreed. Yeah. But not an evolution type faction. No. So oh, there you go. He's added to it. <laughs> as WWE as well they I don't think they've noted it. Reports are uh, reports have noted that ratings for both shows are falling. Yeah, was it not this week but last week was the worst raw rated show in a non-holiday and a non-football season Monday in 20 years. The one, not the London show. Not the London show. But I, I did I hear that that one was possibly worse. Were, really? Yeah. I heard that um, uh, was all, Ollie the Davis from Wrestle Talk. Yeah. He was at the show, and he said, like he he said he's always been an advocate for saying, you know, if you have a chance to go to the actual live taping show, go because it's a lot of fun and it's worth it. And he said he can no longer say that because after going to this one, he said it was it was just bad. Being there was awful. It was just a hodgepodge. He said it might have been better on TV, but being there live, he's like, I had fun before the show started with the people, and I was with a lot of good people ar- around me. Yeah. People I did know and didn't know. He's like, but overall, it was just a lackluster, you know, show. I will say that it's one thing. I do like and don't like how rowdy the UK audience can get. Right. I like it because it can be funny, but I don't because it's like they feel like they're more important than the show and they're the ones that should be focused on, so they try to take the show Yeah, they're over. like the Brooklyn crowd. Yeah, I don't I don't care for that. Like, I understand that you pay your money to go see these guys, but you're there to see them. Yeah. They're not there to see you. They're there to put on a show for you to cheer, not you to do what you want and get attention right. from them. Yeah. I don't like that stuff. Um, so having said that about the ratings... It's being re- some of it's their product. I don't think yeah. it doesn't really have anything to do with. It um, has to do yeah. with the with after the shakeup and the pre pay per view feuds that they're still trying to tie up loose ends. Yeah, it's, it's they're, just they're they're in a lull right now where it's like yeah. nothing's making sense and they're trying to basically right pull diamonds out of the coal. which happens. Like you can't. You, I mean, you could expect them to just be perfect all the time. but Right, you're going to have ups and downs. It's yeah, there's storylines that don't work, and they find a way to make them shorter. The only problem is that they can't make these ones shorter because they're just trying to finish them so they right. can start the new ones for real. Right. So the thought is that WWE is trying to lure John Cena into coming back early because, say what you will about him, he gets ratings. No, he does. I, I like John Cena especially... I mean, I, I like John Cena. Uh, let's go with that. I don't won't digress too much. I mean, I, I like him too. Uh, I I understand the not liking him because I I, I understand. Oh, I, the, I definitely have a portion of me that still doesn't like him, but overall, I understand the the people don't like that he's he's sort of well. They can say that he's forced down our throats, but he hasn't been over the past year. I get, I understand that people that say that, but you also gotta. I feel like people don't look at things from enough of a, a wider perspective. Like, you can say that Cena was pushed down your throats, but from a business aspect, why wouldn't, if somebody's selling a lot yeah. and it's popular, why aren't you trying to, like, over push it and get as much out of it as you can? Because even as a part timer, he's still selling some of the most, you know, the most merchandise. Right. So why not push him? I mean, plus, I, I get that a heel turn for him would be perfect for us fans. Right. Not so much for the the children that love him right now, but who cares? They're going to grow up. They'll understand the business. They'll learn to appreciate it more. Yeah, learn because, them now. Because, you know, 15 years from now, it'll happen with somebody else, and these kids that are huge Cena fans right now and still picking their noses will look at it and be like, oh, 
I remember when they did that with Cena, and I didn't like it. It makes sense now. Right. So, I mean, do the heel oh, turn. It's evolution of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, because there's, there's plenty of things in my younger years I was just like, that's stupid, I don't yeah, like have, it. Yeah, have them come back being bitter. Like, like actually, like, address the, the ratings being bad. And be like, see, I leave, ratings go down. You guys don't appreciate me when I'm here, but when I'm gone, look what happens. Right. And just have him start being that arrogant guy that just runs everybody down. Yeah. No, I agree with you. That would be uh So I I have one last thing, but it kind of ties in with one of the things that you have. So Oh, so you want I got we some can, other. Yeah, we can save that for last. Okay. What do you have for us? Well, most of the stuff I have is just news. Um like uh Emma was hurt during one of the house shows on the UK tour. I feel bad for her. Ho- I'm hoping it's not too, too bad. So what happened is it was a multi... It was a, obviously a woman's match, but I think it was a multi-woman tag match. And you know when Sasha... it was Sasha's the one that did it. You know how Sasha lays the chicken between the ropes and she yeah. jumps up and knees him? I guess when she did that, um, Emma landed on her elbow because she la- went you know sideways to try to take the, the bump. And she landed on her elbow all wa- awkward, so it kind of like messed her elbow or her shoulder up. So as of right now, which is Wednesday at almost two thirty p.m., I haven't heard they like the last thing I heard out of her was that she was in Florida. They were gonna get some MRIs and tests done to see actually what it was to see if there was structural damage or it's just an owie, and she just needed to you know take a little bit of time off to get the alley to go away or if it was something she could work through okay but they actually i i i didn't actually know this maybe you did the uh the refs in the matches actually have a gesture that they make if somebody is legitimately hurt i yeah. thought they just had the i thought that had a mic in it their earpiece but well, supposedly they have like a arm like x thing that they do that's like no that's legit come out and get her so they actually like I don't know if they stopped stopped the match, but they stopped what was going on with her and then pushed the match to the other part of the ring, and they came out and actually got her to take her out. So she pretty much knew she was, like, hurt right then. Yeah. No, it definitely sucks because, A, she just came back. And I have watched a, a couple more uh, NXT matches of hers. Like, I watched her match with Asuka. Mm-hmm. And I want to see more out of her. Okay. And my brain just went to other stuff that doesn't need to be talked about. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're waiting to see what happened to, to, to her. Um, there's been, well, I shouldn't say news, this is legitimate, is that Vince has actually started to be doing less. Um, like, when they went to California, first in Sacramento and Fresno, he didn't travel because he doesn't want to do as much flying anymore. So I guess a lot of the traveling to, I don't, I don't know if he was in London, I didn't hear Oh. You'd think he would for that. But either way, he's starting to do less and travel less because he just, A, doesn't want to. And it's, I mean, he's not. I don't know why now all of a sudden he's decided not to travel as much. Hey. I mean, you don't have to anyway. And you're going to be calling up the officials that are there and yeah, telling them. technology what... where you can be home and do stuff. For, yeah. Yeah. FaceTime, you're telling me that Vince doesn't own an iPhone? Or just, they could literally have just a whole computer. Or one of his grandkids doesn't own an iPhone that he can borrow. (laughs) But yeah, so supposedly he's doing less and... I like it. Well, I do just because I feel like there'll be less, like, stuff will happen where he won't have a chance to null it. I'm wondering if that's where kind of the lull is happening as well, because they're so used to planning things and then having Vince Vince change change it. um... Yeah, so they're like, well, we'll just throw this out there and Vince will change it later. Yeah. And then he does it, and they're like, well, that was a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, well, Chubbs found this, is that Ember Moon has been taken out of the uh, takeover match in Chicago, and the it was a fatal four-way. It's now going to be a three-way. Giggity. Um, yeah, that's all I got for that. Okay. Um, there were reports that the, the Neville and Austin Aries match at Payback, the outcome was changed. Well, a couple times how it was going to happen, but then the winner being changed as well um, with the thought of them having the, the finish payoff match at Extreme Rules and having it be an Extreme Rules match. So Austin was originally supposed to win it. Well, it was going to be Austin was going to win it, then it was going to be Neville was going to win it, but it wasn't going to be like a DQ type thing. That was just kind of like 
all right, we like this, and then that'll add into the yeah, that, doing extreme rules match. That helps the heat too for yeah. Neville. Yeah. Um, oh, can I just piggyback off of speaking to title matches that yeah. were changed? Yeah. Uh, the women's title match at Payback was changed what four times within uh, the last thirty hours. Yeah, the last thirty hours they changed the outcome four times. Yeah, ridiculous. Um, but as, as you were. Um. Other news was is uh, AJ had an interview where he said he's he's basically pumped to, to be in the uh, United States Championship title talks and run because he wants and feels that him and Kevin Owens especially, but how they're doing it, they can really make it feel yeah. like an important title. In, even though in, he's not going to win it. Important title. Yeah, even if he does or doesn't. He's not going to. I know. I just my, my personal, obviously I want him to just because I – want him to have every belt before he's done yeah with WWE. And, and knowing wwe they could change it last minute but it's believed yeah, that know. as of now he's not gonna win it and i will piggyback again that after backlash after shinsuke defeats dolph ziggler is that Do- uh shinsuke will move into the u.s title picture to face kevin owens or aj styles if aj styles were to win well think about it this way all right, so best of two worlds. Both of nah, no, because at this point they're not going to have AJ beat Shinsuke. I was going to say you have Shinsuke beat beat Kevin and then start the, the AJ-Shinsuke feud, which um, it makes me wonder if they're even going to pull the trigger on that feud for a long time because... I think they're going to save it. Well, the reason I'm saying, A, I'm okay with them saving it, even though I want to see it. The reason I think they're going to save it is because, A, technically they're both faces right now because AJ flipped to face... Did he? Technically. He's been on all the... the I mean, even the, the six-man tag this week was... He yeah. was in the face team. Uh, they're not really acknowledging it. They, they kind of did. It's been in, in passing, sort of like when he came out and talked to Shane and shook his hand and whatnot. That was yeah. supposed to be the... And he attacked Kevin Owens. Like, I get that they're going that way. Yeah. Well, either way, it's, it's, not, it's not like uh, AJ's not somebody that c- can find a way to turn heel really quick. Right. See, I don't, I don't want them. I want them to do the Shinsuke AJ feud sooner rather than later because a neither of them are young. Yeah, because Shinsuke is, isn't he? Uh, or are they the same age? I was thinking Shinsuke was like a year or two older. They're both late thirties, early forties. Yeah, I thought they were about thirty-seven ish. Um, so neither of them are are young. Injuries happen. Uh, and you just don't know... Especially with their styles. Right, and you just don't know what's going to happen. So why not do it now, and then, later on down the road, when, say, they are still going, and they're, you know, one of them's getting ready to retire, have them feud again. Right. I, I don't know, it just, it just makes no. sense to do it now. <laughs> no, I get what you're saying, it's just, I, I feel like... As much as I want to see it, and I get what you're saying, I feel like now is not a good time for it. A, because... <sighs> so Shinsuke and AJ for the United States title would not be good? No, I'm not even saying that it wouldn't be good. I'm just trying... I'm just thinking benefit-wise. I mean, obviously it's just going to match that people are going to want to see and they're really not going to care who wins, per se. So I guess that's okay. And wouldn't you want to see it now when they're both still... Well, I, I at when, the when top you say of their now, game, I want them to extend it and make it paper, make it WrestleMania because I want both of them a to have a Wrestle WrestleMania moment together. Yeah, fine. And I'd love to have them them main event WrestleMania. Right. I, I mean, I don't mean they start it yesterday. No, but no, I, mean, I know what you mean within this seat, this wrestling season, leading up like by WrestleMania. <laughs> Yeah. Even at WrestleMania, that yeah. should be the culmination of their feud. Because I don't want them to to say, well, we'll wait to do it and then not be able to do it. Because right. then there's the whole, well, what if? And we didn't get to get our, we didn't get the fans to see this. Right. And I just think they yeah, should so, pull the so, trigger. Yeah, so I'm just saying, so, like, so go with the way you had it where we'll, we'll say that Shinsuke beats Kevin Owens. He's the U.S. champ. Even though, even though he's Japanese. All right. Well, Kevin's Canadian. Kevin's Canadian, the face of America. All right, so I'm going to go vice versa, even though this isn't the way it's going to happen, but strictly just for... We're doing we're doing a whole bunch of fantasy bookings right now. That's fine. There's going to be one per episode, and we're doing, like, four. Like, what about this? Ooh, what about that? I mean, we, yeah, infinite possibilities. Yeah. 
Um, I'm going to go this way strictly for this feud only, not with anyone else being involved or any other thought process, so just bear with me. Okay. All right, so we're going to have Kevin Owens versus AJ. AJ wins the belt. Okay. Kevin Owens all pissed off. Interject him into the, the WWE Championship. Kevin Owens, that is. Literally, that's as far as I'm going with it. Just, he, he needs something to do and he, des- okay. he deserves to have a belt. Got it. That's my only thought process. Then, have AJ be in the, on the face that runs the place. I got this belt. Look what I'm doing here in my first year and a half. But a boom on the man. Cut to violin. Okay. Shinsuke comes out. They start doing their feud. And obviously, time frame wise, I'm not building it very well because WrestleMania is a ways away. Yeah. But either way, work it out to where AJ wins the belt. They have their WrestleMania moment where Shinsuke takes the belt off from him. Because doing it vice versa, I don't feel like it would be as, as good for me as Shinsuke having an AJ winning it. U.S. or, or World? U.S. Okay. My bad. I probably said World because I already said it. No, you just said you had just said title. Belt. My bad, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so have them fighting for the U.S. Championship. A, they're trying to make it more prestigious. Kevin Owens and AJ are already going to make it more prestigious. Think of what AJ and Nakamura would, would do, them fighting for that belt. Yeah. Or find a way to have it not be the U.S. championship. Have, you know, that stuff go down and then find a way to have it interjected into where AJ wins the U- the WWE championship or Nakamura does. I'm just going with it the same basis as the first one. And then that would actually help longevity or, or uh, timeline-wise where have um, Kevin Owens, he, win, he retains the U.S. championship. And then next on the line for AJ, which he already said, is he wants to go after Randy yeah. for the WWE Championship. So therefore, he loses to Kevin Owens. Well, that sucks. I'm moving on to, to Randy for the, the big, big belt. He gets it off from Randy. And, I mean, that's going to end up being... So backlash is in, we'll say, two weeks. And then, obviously, you have money in the bank and all that stuff. But just have it work out where the few he has... A, AJ has a feud with Randy. That takes, you know, three, four, five months. Probably two to three non WWE. And then start building up AJ as, you know, on on the on the champ again, on the face that runs the place again. I'm building it even bigger. Then interject Nakamura into it to have them build up towards WrestleMania. Okay. And literally there's very little thought into this right now. I'm just spitball. Okay. Counterpoint. Have AJ lose to Kevin. Can, can I ask you a question real quick? Yes. It has nothing to do with this, just because I want to know. Okay. In our Raw episode, we already talked about Braun legitimately being hurt, right? Yes. All right, good. But we're going to bring that up as part of the last point that I had that alluded have. to. Okay, my bad. Uh, so, AJ loses to Kevin at Backlash. Right. Shinsuke then goes on, beats Kevin. Okay. AJ still not winning the heavyweight title, the WWE title. I already don't like your idea. <laughs> oh. No, I'm going with it. Uh, Shinsuke, for whatever reason, holds the title for ever a couple months. Drops it, then immediately goes in, ends up winning the WWE title. Question here, though. Yeah. Shinsuke dropping it, even no matter who it is. Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin. I, it, I no, mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying character wise, because like, like he could just drop it and say, "I'm done with it. I want the other one." <laughs> I think that you and I are the only one that thinks that's an acceptable outcome. It is like Oscar right now. She should yeah, literally be like, "I'm bored with you. I'm done. Yeah, bye." So we're the only ones that think that, right, that's a good so, idea. Actually. So Shinsuke wins the U.S. title, eventually drops it. However. They want to have him do oh, it. I was just, I was just thinking because you know, like we were both kind of like Samoa Joe didn't doesn't benefit from losing. So then you didn't say he lost. You're just saying he doesn't have right, the belt. He drops the belt. Then he ends up winning the WWE Championship. Shinsuke. Shinsuke. Then, uh, in all leading up towards WrestleMania, he can say to AJ, as sort of to stoke the fire for the the feud. You know, I was here last time, and I've accomplished more than you. You couldn't even beat Kevin Owens for the 
And I barely speak our English. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I won the U.S. title. You didn't. I'm better than you. Then they end up having a title match at WrestleMania. Nah, 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 boo, boo. And then Sh- Shinsuke can drop the belt to AJ. And then AJ can be like, it doesn't matter about the U.S. title. Well, no, because I don't want them to diminish the prestige of the U.S. title. But either way, somewhere just... where somewhere where they're on similar paths, except Shinsuke is getting there faster and doing it better. And, and like, it's brought into, uh, yeah, quote, it's brought into question AJ's ability to still do it, where he ends up, they put on a f- six-star match at WrestleMania. You know what they? You know what I wish they would do a for all of their pay per views, but WrestleMania especially. Even though I know that's WrestleMania is the spectacle we got to. And make. he wins because Kenny Omega interferes. Bullet Dude, don't, Club. Don't don't even don't shut it. Just shut it down because I'm gonna get all hyped. I'm gonna get all mojoed, <laughs> and this show's gonna be like twelve hours long. Okay. Now I forgot what I was gonna say. You got me all Kenny Omega hyped. My bad. You were starting to say what you wish oh, they would do, or something? so what I wish they did on. No, I don't want them to do it every pay per view because right now they have a two pay per views a month. Somewhat, some months, give or take. It's, they have a lot of pay per views now. Yeah, because of the the brand split. It used to be two a month, but then they're like, we're super saturating the fans with pay per views, so we're going to agree. Some of them will be two, some of them will be a joint, and then other ones will be one month is this, right. and one month that. All right, so so they're big. Selling ones like maybe like Survivor Series, SummerSlam, SummerSlam Royal, Rumble. Royal Rumble, and Man. WrestleMania especially, they need to go to the wrestlers and go. All right, we've we've built the story with you guys to get here. Take now us it's home. you. Yeah, ropes, the reins are gone. You make the match. Do what you want to do. Yeah, and because AJ and Shinsuke could tear the roof off of. Dude, imagine New saying Orleans. to any of them, saying to any of the wrestlers on the roster right now that can main event or should be main eventing, and they're not because there's so many guys that could be main right. eventing. Imagine saying to those guys, do the match you want to do. I want you to try to do a five-star match. And we're not going to... Yeah. Obviously, there are things they don't want to do, like uh, things that can cause injury. Those types of moves, right. like how they don't want to do the pile driver anymore and stuff like that. Right. But other than that, in the limits of the things we want you to do, Go high flying if that's what you're about. Try to make every match the most incredible match you can think of, and it's on you now that we got you here. Yes, because they have the talent to where Vince could say, "Hey, did y'all see that Kenny Omega versus Okada match at Wrestle Kingdom 11? Was it? Yeah, 10 or 11. It was a five star match. I know you guys can do better, and I think they could. Yeah, put it on, put it on them. Like make make it a bravado thing." Like yeah, you, you're gonna let you're gonna let the the, the Japan guys uh, outshine you, right? Like they're not even easy to watch in the United States and WWE, isn't there? Huh? Yeah, huh? and people are talking about Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, Kenny Omega, outdo them. I agree with you. That would be uh, that would be great. So, last thing that I think we're gonna talk about, we acknowledged on our authentic episode that that Braun Strowman is in fact injured and will be out for a significant amount of time. His elbow in real life, his shoulder in story. Right. Now there's no way to, you know, work that in. It was originally reported probably about a month ago. About a month ago. That we would finally see Brock Lesnar defend the universal title at a pay per view and it would be the July pay per view for Raw. After ninety eight days of not being seen. Right. When there's a supposed to be, you have to defend it within 30, or you have to surrender it. You know, they're gonna such get as a, Finn did. They're going to get around it by saying, based on his part-time contract, those rules don't abide. Like, he doesn't have to abide by them. They're not even going to get around it because they're not going to acknowledge it. It just, yeah, this, this scenario does not exist to WWE right now. So, it was reported that he was going to... <laughs> it was reported. He was going to face Braun Strowman at the July pay-per-view for the WWE Universal title. The pay-per-view of course, in July. Now, I see Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman headlining the marquee, and I'm like, ooh, they could do some really cool stuff with that. Yeah, especially because I know Braun, Braun's a house, but... Yeah, so is Lesnar. Lesnar lifts houses for fun. Now the with house the doesn't need to be up there. Now with the injury, they've completely scrapped that because they don't exactly know when Braun will be back. Suppose. Even though he could be back in time for that pay per view, they 
aren't going to have enough of a buildup right. because he's being out. Even so, though they've already had the one he went in the ring when Brock was there and he poked him. Like, that's enough. I don't need... Yeah, They'd and he said... literally just have him show up the week before. I, the, I think it's because he says, when I'm done with Roman at Extreme Rules, I want Brock. Oh, that's the, right, so they can't. The problem being they're not having the Extreme Rules match anymore because he's injured. So, in replacement of... So... Sorry. This, in replacement of Braun uh, at the house shows, the live events, they've replaced... Because Braun has been headlining with Roman. They've replaced Braun with Bray. This right. kind of sucks for two reasons. One, they've already done the Bray Roman thing because it was anybody but Roman. That was the whole right. the whole stick for the whole Wyatt family. And they've already started up Bray versus Finn Balor. Right. So now Bray is being is replacing Braun in that side of it, and Finn is supposed to replace Braun in the title match at the July pay per view. I don't like it. Because, A, the whole point with Bray and Finn was that Bray was going to bring the demon back out of Finn. Yeah. Thus making the demon usable at SummerSlam, viable again, usable at SummerSlam to take on Brock Lesnar. The year after. Sorry, I just wanted to Yeah, a a year after he he had won it before and had to relinquish it due to injury because he couldn't defend it within 30 days. That's (laughs) beside the point only apple rolled to him and naomi right yeah it's so stupid so i don't agree with like why not just let at this point roman be like okay i've taken out braun for now yeah. i can take time to myself so and recover so, and rest so I, yeah i was just gonna say i got a question so instead of having the extreme rules couldn't they just write it like you were saying write it in one of two ways the way you say where he goes look I took Braun out. He wanted me. He got me. He's out. Now I get to recover. He's off air yeah. for a while. Perfect. Which, A, is good since his brother died. Give him right. some, you Just know. what I thought they were doing anyway. Even though even though for him, he probably likes kind of being on the road because it's a distraction. Probably. And it helps. But in the same, it gives him time. A, it gives him time for himself and his family. And it gives... I mean, the fans are still going to boo him when he comes back because... Right. But it gives Whatever. us a break. Yeah, it gives people a break because I, fi- I felt... Uh, it's just me. I had so much stuff going on like the last week or so, I felt like I hadn't seen anything Roman in a while. But it's just me personally because I was doing so much other crap and whatnot. But yeah, get him get him off TV. They could, like you said, write it as that. Or, I'm assuming that Braun is having his surgery like now. Yeah. Or if it's not going to be for a couple days, have a taped backstage segment where Roman attacks him again, and just it's pre-recorded and have it used for Extreme Rules. So the match doesn't even get to happen in Extreme Rules because Roman took him out before. Right. Bang! There's your Extreme Rules match. Technically, your yeah. match. It's already been pre-taped. Write it into the story. Ta-da. Yeah. Keep it going the way it's going. Right. And then you keep having Bray versus Finn, where Bray is, is going to beat Finn over a couple of pay-per-views, thus causing the demon to reemerge. And the, the only problem with the way I said it is if Braun can't be there for uh, the July pay-per-view, yeah. where do they go from there? Do they just scr- scrap it? I mean, they're not going to scrap it completely, because... Well, and I, is... I don't want them to throw... Ro- I want them... I'd be okay with them throwing Roman in. Everyone else will hate it. And A, they're not going to because that's supposed to be the WrestleMania. Listen, I would be fine with that too. If you have if you have Roman take some time off and then show up just before the July pay-per-view and be like, Hey, Brock, your opponent I took out, I get the title match. Yeah. Then, let him... And, let him, they... and, he, and he, can, he can beat Brock... That way the title's back on on a regular basis, and then when Braun's healed up, he can take it from Roman. Or Roman can can retain it from him, either way. Or, after Extreme Rules, after Seth Rollins is done with Samoa Joe, Seth Rollins has expressed interest in wanting the Universal title. Let him fight Brock Lesnar. Yeah, so so if we went the way we were saying, it's it's definitely still feasible to keep it the way it is, opposed to breaking it up and having... Finn go against 
Sorry, I forgot. Brock? Yeah, Brock this early. Yeah. And then having Bray and Roman again. Because I also... To be honest with you, even though I know that's the way it's going, I'd rather it be vice versa because I'd, I'd love to see uh, Finn against Roman again. I use the word love that's a little bit extensive. I'd like to see it again is what I'm saying. Plus, and we've talked about it before, uh, both on recording and not, I do not love the idea of just Finn fighting Brock Lesnar. No, no, and 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 I get it makes more agree. sense to have the beast versus the demon. This is where me being the mental person that I am, how I can see all aspects of things, it's bothersome to me. Because I'm just like, I wish I could be like, bang, you're right, and that's it. But I'm like, bang, I get what you're saying, but <laughs> yeah, and I, I know it annoys other people, but it annoys me too. No, so I get what you're saying. Like, that does make sense. Have him, you know, the demon brought out, because then it makes more sense. It's just I also understand the whole David and Goliath thought process of the faster guy can yeah, but... beat the, the bigger guy if it's strategically done properly. Right. So I'm okay with it, even though I fully, fully get people that aren't. It makes total sense why you aren't. I'm just, I'm okay with it if done I, right. I'm, if, it's, if it's Demon King versus Beast Incarnate... I'm fine with it. You know what the other problem with that is? And this isn't with what you're saying, but to the demon in a nutshell, he doesn't really, he needs, he basically just is is Finn with paint on. Yeah. And, and facially kind of looks crazy because yeah, he does I different. Agree. But he doesn't, like, I want him to fight meaner as well. You know right. what I mean? Be a little bit more edgy. Yeah, like do more, like, you know, punches and more kicking and more... Obviously, with Brock, it would be kind of hard to throw him around, but they need to find a way to show strength out of the demon character. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, obviously, in wrestling, if you don't know, when you got two guys in the ring, it's all about teamwork. You could have, like, his dropkick move that he does right. into the turnbuckle. As Finn attempted on Brock, and Brock just kind of doesn't like sell he, it. Yeah, and he just hits the ground, out. and he doesn't even, like, fall back. Right, but then as Demon does it, and Brock flips, flips. Like, makes him flip. Well... Might be a little bit too extreme, but at least it, it works. Well, when, on I, him. when I'm saying flip, I mean like he hits the ground and like tumble rolls back. Not like oh my god, he did a flip. Like he, he oh, hits no. him instead well, of just he, falling I mean, back. He's gonna like do it, it into the turnbuckle. Yeah. So he's not gonna flip. Well, no, no. So I'm saying have him not center ring, but a little less in center ring. So when Finn does it, you mean he hits more him. in center. Huh? More in the center. Yeah. So instead of instead of being the center, have him be like five feet back. So he's. Not as close to the, the turnbuckle as he normally would be for that move. So you want him more in the center of the ring? Yes. Okay. You I keep don't saying him... less center. Yeah, it's because I don't want him in the center. I want him more towards the center, but not at center. Okay. So if you got the line in the center, I want him five feet back. Well, that's where they usually are. So I want him two and a half feet back. Sure. A full step. Either way, my thought was is... Like you said, have him as Finn do it, and he literally just, Finn hits the ground, and Brock doesn't even move, and Finn's like, oh boy. Yeah, even the one where he runs around the yeah. ring to do it. Or, and yeah, have him do that one where, where Brock just brushes it off, and have him one where he literally hits his legs and knocks him out of the way as he's doing it. Yeah. And then as the demon, have him do it, and instead of just having him fall back and hit, I'm trying to think of the person that, maybe it was Joe, somebody that sold it really well when he was the going against the demon, where... He, like, hit it, and he didn't tumbleweed, but it still kind of made him, like... Instead of it just being he falls down and back, I want it to be more of, like... They need to do a way of showing the demon being more powerful. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, Sorry. I disagree with the tumble, but I, well, the, I get not, what you're saying. I can saying. see it in my head, but I, don't, I just don't know how to... Because to the move is just... it's Like, it's, I don't want him to just fall and be on the ground. I want him to, like... It to, like... Yeah, because well, it, it's right? a shotgun drop kick. Into the turnbuckle. Right. So even have him hit the turnbuckle and then fall forward. Which he's supposed to anyways if it's set up for the coup de gras. Right. But they don't always. They hit and then they'll slump down sometimes. Or... Yeah, because sometimes he does the same But with it being and... Brock, and you know initially he just brushes him off, but as the demon, he can slam himself pretty hard in that turnbuckle. Yeah, what if he gets two at him? Like he does the one where it stuns Brock and Brock hits the turnbuckle so hard... It bounces him back, and Finn's ready, and hits him with another one that knocks him off his feet. I mean, that works as long as as long as doing it as the demon is more effective to the cause with Brock. Then yeah, you need to find a way to differentiate a 
Finn and the Demon, they need to find a way to differenti- differentiate moves. Like, yeah. obviously, you're going to have your core moves, duh. But they need to have him be more ferocious as the Demon, and they need to show that it's stronger. Here's a thought. Go with me on this journey real quick, and this will be my last point, or my last fantasy booking. No, we still are. What? Yeah, because we were going to do what we wanted Bray and Finn to be, but they put a kibosh on that with... Right. Uh, this is what I, this is what they could do though. It'd still have Bray and Finn, where Bray causes the demon to come out. Right. They have a, a, a not lengthy, but right. WWE so, lengthy. Remember we had mentioned when the Wyatts and the New Day were feuding. New Day. Bray had that Sorry. weird effect on Xavier. Right. And he still kind of does, and they hint to it. So let yeah. Bray bring out the demon, causing the demon to challenge and beat Lesnar for the belt. Where then Bray gets Finn not demon because he has control over it. Where he then goes over on Finn for the universal title. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And especially if they do it right, could have it where Finn's confused about it too. Yeah. Like it's happening, he's just got this look on his face like he can't control himself. Like what's happening? I mean, they could do a lot with that. And that would be cool. And that would be, I don't know if you remember this or not, but one of our first ones we were talking about, Finn... On how I wanted to see when he was going to become yeah. the demon. Gradually, like, so you're having that. So each week, have it where he has a little bit, like, I don't know if you've noticed or not, and I, I just noticed things. He has this vein in his leg, uh, Finn does, on his quad that's, like, pretty prominent. And it sticks out a lot. Yeah. Like, start with that vein where they start darkening it. They yeah. start using some of the body paint and have each week or every other week or something... Where he just, he starts acting weird and like, even in the middle of an interview, he'll be regular Finn and just be like, and then all of a sudden he'll either stop and just look or he'll just like maybe speak in tongue or something. Or and just be- have each week where he starts getting a little bit more of the paint. Not a lot. Like right. I want it to be subtle, but I want to be able to notice it. And then have somebody point it out and him like like nervously like maybe pull a shirt down or, or cover up or something. Be like, oh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Like, be nervous. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know what's happening. Because he, can, he could, he could go he's from used, the angle of, I'm done with the demon. I don't need him or anymore. Or he can even go with the, I'm used to the, being the one that controls it. Somebody else is and I don't know what's happening. Because Bray's tapping into yeah. it. And he's just like, I, I can't control it. I can feel it in me and I don't know what's happening. Right. I I mean and and they have enough You know how many people hate this idea right now? Everybody. They have enough money for this and enough of the special effects to where it could just flash you know the the whole get up of face paint and everything. Just, other than that or just have one where have the first one where instead of having the face paint come on, have it look like his eyes are white. Yeah. Just and subtly just keep adding stuff. Just a I, quick little strobe of 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 yeah. switching back and forth between yeah like the shake and just it, where he's he's still in the same spot and then it's just like demon not demon demon not demon yeah and it looks like it's like shaking like it's fighting with each other yeah the reason I said you know how many people don't like it is because there's a lot of people that don't believe in supernatural stuff so even though this sounds really friggin cool they're just like I don't believe in that stuff therefore it's dumb it's like it doesn't so but but here's my argument to that you think that that stuff's fake so is wrestling. Why can't they coexist? No, but I, I mean, these are the same people that, like, they don't watch ghost story movies. They don't believe in, you know, that stuff. So they just, like, there's a lot of people that don't like the supernatural supernatural aspect They're of Bray Wyatt. They're probably huge Transformers fans, too. They don't exist? <laughs> Stupid. So we're, so, as we said, our original thought was is that we were going to have a fantasy booking on how we wanted them to do the Bray and Finn. Yeah. And That's leaning right into there. going towards Brock and all that stuff, but since they kind of kiboshed that, we went this way. Yeah. And we had some other fantasy bookings in this episode, so hopefully that'll hold you guys over enough, all four of you. I'm going to save my uh, fantasy booking for the Hardys for next week. Is that what we're going to do next week? Yeah, the that's, one? that's a good one. So as long as just it doesn't... the Hardys in general? Not like where they're going right now. We're just what we want to see at right. Doing. How I w- where we'll kind of talk about where we think they are going, and then we'll explain how we would do it, or I wouldn't. How I would do it. Yeah. How you would. Yeah. Do we it. we we could also just do it as a hey, this is where it's at right now. This is how we'd rather it have started, and yeah. this is where we want it to go. Uh, assuming that that doesn't 
Well, you know what? Even if it does happen, we can still give how we would it because it's not going the way that we either one of us would would write it. Right. Uh, so we'll we'll do that next week for you. Um, for you. For you. So yeah, that's uh. Surprised we went over an hour, but anyway. Um, oh, okay, well, I'm. I'll start it uploading after other stuff's done. I mean, this isn't going up till Sunday anyway. So. Yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, NA Podcast nine one nine. Uh, one take. I almost called you Chubbs. I'm Chubbs. One take, and I are also because <laughs> I'm chubby, right? It'll <laughs> jerk. It'll be on the screen. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Also on the screen. My name's Chubbs. I make funny one take. I hate Chubbs. I mean, I don't. But anyway. Me, me. No, he doesn't. So yeah, I'm I'm the nice friend. Gosh. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, yeah, you can believe that I'm the nice friend. But anyway, it's because um, you hear a lot of the stuff I say, and you're like, I don't know why anyone would like like one take. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's check us out, and uh, we'll be <laughs> back with more. I forgot what I was saying, and whatever. Oh, I anyway. distracted you because that's what I do. Deuces, double deuces.